Hi Leo and welcome to your tarot love readings for the one that got away here. The messages here are intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus Rising and to those of you that are cross watching as well. Uh, they are general messages but you already know that. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address below the video here in the show more section. Um, with all of that being said, let's jump right into the reading now. The one that got away. Will he or she be coming back? Or what is it that you need to know about this connection here? Okay. The Three of Pentacles here. The Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. Okay, the Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, what's going on here? The one that got away. Okay, for some of you, I feel like the one that got away is still talking about you. So even though he or she might have gone away, I feel like, you know, you're still on their mind still in their thoughts your name is still on their lips okay I also feel like for some of you this person might have um, this is someone who I feel like needed to work on him or herself um, they might have pulled away to do that for others of you I feel like you've tried you really tried to make it work um, there was I'm seeing that there might have been some of you were doing couples therapy or counseling whether this was individual or whether this was together here I feel like you want to you got outside help or outside influence to try and um, better this connection or to try and salvage this connection. It felt like or it feels to you, it still may feel like it, um, like this person was a soulmate connection, someone who shared, um, you've had so much in common, like so many passions, such uh, similar interests. Uh, I feel like you even were able to finish each other's sentences off, like you were similar in so many different ways. And essentially, I feel like you both wanted the same thing from out of this connection, okay? Um, it felt like the two of you were really committed to this, committed to making it work, committed to one another here. But I also felt like there was something here that I'm getting a lot of... Mm, it's not resistance, but I feel like maybe the two of you... There was something here that came between the two of you. I, I'm not sure what it is, though. I'm going to pull out a few more cards to see if, you know, we can get into this a little bit deeper. But look, the one that got away is still in your mind, right? Because you feel as though you didn't fully explore this connection. You feel as though you were robbed of getting the opportunity to meet this person or really diving into the depths of this connection and seeing what it could have been. Because you still feel like that they still, they're on your mind. If you still think about them from time to time, you, you might still even have dreams of this individual. You might revisit memories. You might get nostalgic, pull out, you know, um, old photos or old texts about this individual. Or this person may still be quite nostalgic over you. They may feel as though, you know, they stuffed up. They went wrong. They may feel as though they didn't really give themselves the opportunity to get to know you. And they might have ended things prematurely. Or they may feel as though they probably should have fought harder for you, okay? I get a sense that although you were very similar and you both wanted to, you know, you both wanted the same things from out of the connection, somehow you were, at the end of the day, you were two similar people, but you were also two very different people. Like, kind of like a walking contradiction is what I'm seeing. Notice how he's got two very different footing, uh, two different uh, shoes on, and it's almost like you, you got off, you got off on the right foot, you guys started off on the right page. Something went haywire though. Something sort of uh, bent out of shape is what I'm seeing. Now there are two sides to every uh, coin, right? To every pentacle. So of course there is his, you know, his or her side and of course there is your side. Um, you know, which is which, who knows here. But I'm getting that the two of you went separate ways because I feel like ultimately you had two very different paths to, to tread on. You had two very different paths to follow. On, to, to follow. And I feel like this person had to... You know, they got away because there was still so much that they had to work. They work, they had to work on themselves. I feel like career was a big thing for them as well. They were very career, um, career orientated, a lot of ambitions that they had to chase. But at the same time, I still feel like you, you also had your own path here, Leo. You also had, you know, your ambitions and your goals and, you know, your dreams that you sort of wanted to chase. Sometimes I wonder if either one of you sort of sits there and goes... You know, I, I don't know if it's your energy or if it's their energy that I'm channeling right now, but I feel like sometimes I'm getting that someone sits here and they wonder if they made the right mistake by 
getting away or by leaving you behind or you leaving them behind. Now let's see what else is coming up here. That's been coming up a lot. The Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel like this person went off to chase their success. Okay. And that's not to say that this romance couldn't have been couldn't have been a success, but I feel like again, I'm getting that this person had a different something was missing, okay? And I feel like this person had their own path and you had your path. And I feel like essentially you were so similar. So similar that it's scary and essentially you guys wanted the same thing from out of the connection but maybe the timing i'm going to put it down to timing because i feel like he or she had to had to you know they had to run off and they had to do their own thing and i feel like that for some of you their own thing was traveling or you know was career or establishing themselves or chasing a dream chasing a goal here or even you know getting out there not playing the field, but maybe getting more experience when it comes to love and romance and relationships here. I feel like, you know what I'm going to put it down to Aries? Uh, sorry, Aries, Leo. Um, well, some of you could have been dealing with an Aries, right? Because you've got a lot of fire in your chart here. I'm going to put it down to meeting the right person, but at the wrong time in your life. Because this is what it feels like. Because I feel like this person, you know, you, you both cross paths. And you play a very significant um, chapter in each other's life. And I feel like this person has had a very strong impact on you. They've created quite an impression on you, a very lasting impression on you. But I feel like in the end, it's not that the two of you didn't have what it takes to sort of see this. But I feel like you just had, you had to, you had different paths that lay ahead of you. There was a lot of attraction. There was, it was an intense connection. It was a very powerful connection. But there was something here that they had to do. In saying that, you, the two of you could still cross paths in the future. You could still come back together here. Because I feel like for some of you, this was too strong to leave behind. So you might still hear from this individual. Because they still think about you. Or there's this sense of them wondering if they made a mistake. Or them wondering if they could undo something here. If they can try to fix something here. Or try to repair something here. You know, there's still that... You know, there's something here that keeps them up at night, and I feel like this is in relation to, you know, how things transpired between the two of you, or them walking away from you here, or about the future. Because I feel like this person thinks about, you know, how things could have been had they said, had they stayed instead of left, or how how different things could have been had they said, you know, yes to that final date, or yes instead of no here, had they pick up the phone instead of, you know, ignored you. This, this is someone who I feel like thinks a lot, okay? They think a lot, um, especially when it comes to, you know, the future. They think ahead and don't get me wrong, they, they think about you. They still think about you and they think about what could have been had they stayed instead of left. They think about what could have been had you, you know, had you answered or responded back to their text message. And it could have been different. But ultimately, I feel like this person had to do what he or she had to do and you had to do what, um, you, you know, you had to do it. It's a shame because I feel like you could have still done what you had to do, but you might have still been in each other's life or it just, I feel like it just had to happen that way because this person has a restless energy to them is what I'm seeing here, Leo. And I feel like this person, you know, they wanted to, to go and see, you know, and search for what's on the other side of the mountain. That's not to say what was on this side of the mountain being you, you know, wasn't emotionally satisfying enough, but it's their restless energy, it's their curiosity that had to be indulged here, hence why the one that got away, got away. Alright guys, that is your reading. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. Of course, I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings, so do stay tuned throughout the week and the month. Thank you guys again for your attention. Greatly appreciated. Bye for now.